Fox 13's Haley Higgins is live at the University of Utah where the first vaccine was administered today. Haley. Yeah, the woman who's believed to be the first health care worker to get the vaccine since it was approved by the FDA, she says it was a whirlwind, but she also says that it is a relief seeing that the end of the pandemic is in sight. Christy Mulder takes time out of her busy shift at the University of Utah ICU to get the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. It feels like a weight lifted off. The last few weeks have been extremely tough for healthcare workers, helping a record number of hospitalized patients. Referral ICU capacity reaches over 100 percent. We're we're tired and we're drained. We're emotionally and physically drained. So to have a day like today, um, it's really encouraging. At Intermountain Health, frontline workers at LDS Hospital also rolled up their sleeves. Super excited to get the vaccination and to be able to protect myself and protect my family and protect the people that I care about. Nearly a year after learning about the virus, state epidemiologist Angela Dunn celebrates the milestone. A huge momentous day that gives me such joy and pride. Yet she warns against letting our guard down. And this vaccine does not mean that we can all get together now and that we can all go party and have large gatherings. That is not going to come until the fall of September 2021. But for these frontline workers, the first vaccine comes with peace of mind. Now, Dr. Angela Dunn says 50% of Utahns, adult Utahns, will need to get the vaccine to make some kind of a dent in the numbers that we're seeing right now. She says 70 to 80% is when we'll really start to see the virus get under control. Reporting live in Salt Lake City tonight, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.